Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode we're going to take a little look at a hater. Um, it's either a Harrier or a Hawk, one or the other. I don't quite know, I haven't really looked at it. I've got it um, free of charge, um, but it wants a little bit of work doing to it. The height adjustment bar has snapped and I've got a new one in here. Oh, I've got a pair of scissors handy to open it up. Let's have a little look before I get into it. Uh, new height adjustment bar. These are about, uh, normally about £11, but I actually got this one off of Amazon. Um, and it only cost around about eight quid. So that was quite cheap uh, for a height adjustment bar. So quite happy with that. And these are very, very common. These break a lot and they break just there, right, right on the join. Oh, that's where they break. Um, so these are fi fix one of those. Also this little hater is suffering from no flap. I picked it up. Um, it had no grass bag, but I've got a spare grass bag for it. I've got this off of eBay, um, second hand part. It should come with a springs, I'm hoping, which it does. A uh, little tiny flap, that cost me, um, I think it's about a tenner as well, something like that. So uh, I've got the flap for it now, and I've got the little the bar and what have you. Got a height adjustment, so everything on it, um, other than that, the machine should run apart from the service or just, just general maintenance on the machine. Um, on top of that, well happy, got myself a set of uh, the Lorma Detective um, It's Donut Time stickers. Um, so thank you very much, Dave. Much appreciated, buddy boy. Uh, it's been a long time waiting for this one uh, because I've got other videos lined up, but... Uh, you're finally there in the queue. So thank you very much, um, Lorma Detective. I'll put on my box a bit later on. I've got two there, one for me, one for Riley Boy. So cheers to that, Dave. Much appreciated, buddy boy. As always, you've been a long time subscriber of mine, and now you've got your own channel going, which is fantastic to see. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mars, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told when I've done a video or two on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's sort out the height adjustment and get this um, grass box flat flitted to this hater. And then hopefully with a little bit of service and tinkering, we should get this machine up and running and hopefully running sweet as a nut. Okay, here it is. It's, it's not in the best of shape. Okay, lots of aluminium showing um, and what have you, but they sell for good money anyway. Um, it's had a few nuts and bolts added to it where it shouldn't have. HTD looks like it's been uh, been patched up, bits and pieces like that, but this is a problem. The height adjustment isn't working and the wheels are, are, are flat on the deck. So that's no good to us. What I need to do is find my Dewalt impact, which I had just earlier on. Because one of my lights wasn't working in the shed, so I had to sort that out. <clears throat> so that's now working. So let me get my impact sorted out. Find my extension bar. Right, here's a little hater, uh, Harrier 41. It's had a patch on the other side of the crack. The deck is cracked. I'm gonna try and alley weld that if I can. Uh, lots of paintwork showing, it looks rough and ready, but by the time it's had a little bit of a spray job and what have it, it should look a bit better. I could strip it all the way down and do a full restore on it, but um, just trying to get them out this time of year. People do love these, so. Uh, with a full service thrown on, uh, it should sell pretty well, I would say. 20, 20 mil, 19 mil to remove the wheel. We've got to remove that so we can get to the height adjustment. Now, a height adjustment bar is all the way around here and it's broke. There it goes. So now it's sitting a bit better where it needs to. Um, I'm going to lift the machine up, prop it up. I've got to remove this little circlip just here. So let me get my my spare fuel can, which will be over there. It's empty. I just want to prop this machine up. Ooh. Just so we can get to, get to a height adjustment bar with, with relative ease. So that little circuit there has got to be the first to be removed. That's got to come off. <clears throat> which is no easy thing. Maybe a flat-ended screwdriver get in there a bit better. And these height adjustment bars, they snap in two places. There's the circlips, they can come off. We'll keep hold of those, well, I've got some spares. And then this one should just literally come off and come out. And there it is, that's where it's snapped, okay. So that's no good to us. That's now done. I'm gonna drop the machine down, back onto its belly, and then we're gonna tip it up onto its side So, all the way over, a bit more than that, about there would be lovely. As you can see, this machine, absolutely full of uh, greenery and what have you, but we want to get to this back piece. Let me bring it around the other side. 
right, we're around the back of the machine, and as you can see, there's a big spring here, which connects onto the back of the, the body just behind this bolt here. And then the other part of the height adjustment is just here. <coughs> and that hooks on to, there's a, there's a catch just here. Um, on the top of the machine, just over, over over here, there's a catch, which activates your um, your height adjustment. So that bar's got to come out uh, where it snaps. Now, you, there are some places you can access them from just inside here. There's a little tiny circlip up inside. Uh, it sits, it sits around about here, okay? There's a little tiny circlip, so we've got to now try and remove that. That's one of the hardest ones to remove. Just repositioned it a bit better for you. <clears throat> so as you can see, this little tiny flap, uh, this rod is connected uh, to this um, spring control, okay? And there's a little tiny circlip that sits right up inside there, right up in the depths, and that's got to come out. And they are a bit of a pig to remove. But once you get them moving, they generally are not too bad. It's just getting them off off that rod. The hardest bit is putting them back on. I think we're there. Yeah, there you go. So there's a the rod, now been removed. Cool, and that's the bit that sits up. It sits up inside here, okay? And there's a little tiny eyelet for it to sit. Just up here, where my finger is. That sits up inside and the circuit sits on top like that. So with the new bar, I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> it sits up like so, okay? And then the spring attaches to this end of it, okay? So now what you wanna do is now we'll try and fish this new bar in place. Literally slide it in the top end. Let me bring it around to show you because you'll be complaining I didn't show you. So this, this, um bar here can now slide inside this hole just here and it goes all the way down a bit of jiggly pokery and it will go all the way down okay until it meets and it's got to sit like that inside the machine okay so let me just get it fitted in <clears throat> and I'll show you what I mean let me bring it up a touch more sorry for moving the old camera around but uh needs must so let me try and just maneuver that into position there it goes so here's your bar come out this side here now okay and all we want to do is that hole it's just got to sit up inside the hole just like so let me just show you where that position is right i've just pushed that bar through now what i'm doing i'm now going to hook up this part of the axle okay and move the height adjustment over slightly just so that now sits into place, okay? I'm gonna get a circlip just to sit on there now. So let me get a circlip, I'll be back. All right, I've got one here, got the old one. Let's just push them on. Oh, hang on. So now we have the bar in place this end and the bar in place on a bracket. Let me show you that back bracket. All right, so up inside the um, the machine, we've got the little tiny black bracket I'm just showing you there now. And as you see, it doesn't actually fit on the end of a bracket, okay? It fits halfway down. And that's where it needs to sit, just up like that. You can see the curvature of the bar as well, okay? But you need to put a circlip now up on the top of that little bar just there. That's a fiddly bit. I recommend putting a screwdriver underneath or a block against this rod, just here. It's a little rod to stop that bar from moving down and then put a circlip on top of that. So your next mission is to put a circlip on top of that little tiny metal rod that's poking up halfway down the bracket. Okay, to make things a little bit easier, what you can do is there's a bracket just up here, uh, which holds your roll on, uh, to one 10 mil bolt that side, just there, okay? And then one 10 mil bolt the other side here. Remove those out, I just dropped my 10 mil bolt, I have to go and find it later on. And your bracket then will slide out slightly, giving you just a bit more. Now this white bracket, that will lift off ever so slightly. Let's go a bit gentle with it. And that white bracket will just lift, he says. So he just sat on there. Like so. 
that little white bracket will then remove. And then you can then get better access to this, to this bar once it's in place. You can then pull it out a touch and just maneuver it so you can actually get your hand onto the end of this bar here. Just so you can put your circlip on there. So that gives you a bit more access. If you want to get a bit even more than that, you can remove two 10 mil nuts on this side and that will completely remove the roller off of here. So let's do that just down the bottom here. Let me bring it down so you can see what's going on. Down here, there's another two 10 mils. Move some tools out of the way. One there. One there. Don't lose no bits now. And now you can remove that part of the roller. And so it takes it right out. So now, if you wanted to, to make things even easier for yourself, what you can now do is now take this bar out. Let me just remove this front circlet very quickly. With your, your, your roller now removed, you can now get your bar and put it onto this bracket just here, you see? And it goes on, as I say, it doesn't go on the end one, it goes on the middle one, okay, just there, or, or this, this middle hole. Well, with that on and your circlet on, just get a pair of long nose pliers and just uh, crimp that on. What you can now do is manipulate your roller and your bar all the way up until it comes out the front of this machine. Where's my bar is? On its side. And once it's in position, you can then tip the roller around like so. A bit of a clean up here. And then all you've got to then do is just refit your roller. The only thing to remember is that these little tiny teeth on the front of this roller here need to sit up inside this pin just up here where the top of my finger is. There's a little tiny pin on your height adjustment thing that's moving. Make sure that, that's all lined up. So we're going to line up our bottom roller first. Okay, just, just put it into position. If it'll hold, it should do. And I've got these little tiny plates that I took off earlier on, off the bottom, yeah? I'm just going to gently screw one of them back into place. Once it's in place, that, that will hold it to a degree. I've got another 10 mil to put in as well, which would be that one. And lots of people have said before, they, they tried doing these and they're, they're really hard to do. If you do it this way, actually taking the roller out, just makes life a bit easier. It's a question of just holding it, holding it in all the right places. All right, so that's the bottom of the roller now in place. We've got a circuit up here. I can now hook up the front of the um, of the drive of the, uh, the the bar, which is just up here. I can now hook that up into place. So bring my wheel round, hook that up. That's fine. And then just to reinstall this roller, all you need is, is this, this, um, this white piece, which sits onto this rod here via this piece here. So slide it into place first. Once that's into place, like so, there's a little tiny, um, let me show you it. There's a little tiny um, groove that this, here, where there's, there's gaps in here. This sits, there's a little tiny groove just, just here, okay? You can't miss it. So that's gotta go up inside that groove like so. Slides up all the way in, and then this plastic bit sits on together. So it's a sort of a do it together sort of job. Push that in, slide that up. That's all in. Once you've got those into place, you can then get your 10 mils. And I have lost one of mine, mine's inside the machine somewhere. Get your 10 mil. And all we're going to do is slide it all up, make sure it's in place. It's not quite fitted yet. There it goes, that's now in. Slide it into place. You've got to make sure your height adjustment bar is all, all hooked up into position, which it is now. And then get your 10 mil, your 10 mil and put that up into there, okay? This little tiny bit just here. But what I can't do it because it keeps falling apart, so I'm going to get a little tiny bit of grease. 
I'm going to put that on the end of a nut. Or just, just around the side of it, side of this nut here. Just put it around the side. And that will then help me hold it in my socket. So when I slide it all up into place, sort out my height adjustment bar as well at the same time. Make sure that's all in, that's all in, that's all in. I can now get my 10 mil and guide that into the rail, which I can't see. There it goes. So there's one, I've got another one down in the depths here which I need to go and find. It'll be down in here somewhere. So let me go and find that and I'll put the other one in as well. Well, I found me, found me other 10 mil. So with, with a grease that's on the socket, that'll hold it in place. Slide it up into that other side of the white socket, other side of the white bar. And that's in place. So that's that part done. Now it's all left to do is to put the tension spring onto the uh, onto a bar and I'll show you how to do that very quickly. Okay to put your tension spring back on all I've done is I've got a bit of pull cord here which I have just pushed through this hole here and threaded it all the way down through here until it comes out this side. You might have put your hand in to go and get it but once you get to that part I'll uh, tell you how to do the next bit. Right with your pull cord pulled through in a loop so you've got two ends at the front of the machine and the loop at this end. You now, all you want to do is hook up your spring and pull your pull cord so that, you, so that the pull cord's now got hold of a spring, okay? And all you want to do is get a screwdriver or something half sensible. I tend to use a, a, um, a hammer handle and just wrap that around the hammer handle on the front so that it bites, okay? Make sure it's got a good grip on it because you're gonna be pulling this in a minute. Get it all the way around the front as best you can, over the front of the, front of the machine, and then when you pull, this, pull this, um, this hammer on a lever, it will then tension the spring up all the way until you can then get it fitted onto, onto that um, part of the, handle or part of the bar actually broke onto that bar just there okay that's we're trying to hook it onto the back of that so it's no biggie um, but i do need two hands to do it i need you guys out of the way so i can see inside yeah just pretty much wrap your hammer around the front of the pull cord on the, on the machine use it as a lever and then just just pull it it's nearly there but i can't i can't quite see because the camera's right in the way of it but keep pulling it that's darn near there let's take another turn on that Just like that. I did want to try and show you, hopefully you got that. Did you get that? I think you did. And that's how you do it. The thing is pull this pull cord around. Make sure there's no knot in the end of it. You might have just been to manipulate this, this cord out. Bring it around this way. I was hoping to get it to, to show you it. Because it's not the easiest thing to do. That pull cord wants to go into there. And you can see there's quite a bit of tension on that. And that's why they snap. I'm trying to get that pull cord out this other way. If I can, that's it. I'm trying to get it to come out through there. I think you saw it, I'm not quite sure. That was first attempt as well, it wasn't a second attempt. And so now hopefully that will come out like so. Did you get all of that? I think you did. So that was my first attempt at it and we got it. So that's cool. Uh, that spring's now on, all in place. So now we'll go around the front machine and hook up the front. Right, now with um, the back all hooked up, we can now hook this front up. So bring your, bring your, your axles round and then literally just bring that bar in place into there. We can now get a circlip. I think that's the right one. Get a long screwdriver. <coughs> this is where the fun starts again. Come in the side here, hold that bar up with a screwdriver to put it into place, and offer your circlip whilst, whilst leaning on this screwdriver. 
off your circlip, come around the back of a circlip, whilst prying on the screwdriver at the same time, just to hold it all up. It's just notoriously fiddly. Anyone that's done one will know exactly what I'm going through right now. Okay, so I believe we're there. Let me tidy a few tools up and we put the machine back onto its tummy. Oh, I've got to put a wheel on yet as well. We don't have a good tidy belief here yet, but we'll come, we'll come back to that a bit later on. So now I can put the machine back onto its tummy. Let me bring you down a bit so you can see what's going on. Let's bring you about there, shall we? Something like that. We can now put this wheel back on. Like so. And that'll be about a 19 mil on there. Now, as long as you've done all of that and done it correctly, you should now be able to put that wheel on with relative ease. This is only taking me about 15, 20 minutes to do this repair. On goes the wheel, and now hopefully, we should now have a fully sprung loaded Hater Harrier 41 that locks off in any position you ask it to. Perfect, so that's the height adjustment now fixed. That's why someone got rid of this mower because that height adjustment bar for eight pound snapped, 15 minute fix and away it goes. The next thing we need to do is come around the back and look at the flap. Right, we're now around the back of the machine and I've got uh, the bar to fit for the grass flap. We don't fit these and the grass just shoots out, so that's no good. Let me just get this blinking sellotape undone. That someone's put on there, cool. Craft knife. Now I'm surprised that this flap actually came off because um, it's still got the two 3.8 bolts in there. Now these are notorious for snapping. So if you if they snap, you can just drill them out. You can tap and die them, or you just drill them out and put another like a gutter bolt all the way through. That's what I sometimes do. I'm just fighting here, wasting time in this video trying to take the cellar tape off. There's a bar. There should be another spring. Oh, my word, what? Well, well packaged. So now, just want to see if that, if that bar will fit in there. Which you can see, it don't. Now what you sometimes can do is bend them slightly just to get it into place, but obviously you've got to put a flap on as well. I don't think that's gonna go. Well, it's not far off, that isn't. I might better tap that with a hammer. Now, my only fear is I don't want to go too mad because um, as I say, these bolts do just do just shear. Now I'm going to have a go at it very, very gently, and I'm going to use a hand a hand ratchet because they are notorious, absolutely notorious for snapping. I'm just intrigued that someone managed to get that out without um, with, with the bolts in place. The, chance, the likelihood is it will snap. It's as simple as that. I always do. In fact, I don't think I've come across one yet that doesn't. And you, I've tried heat, I've tried WD-40, I've tried shocking them, everything. Thinking it would help. And every time, they just snap. Let's get a bit of a shock. Try and loosey goosey him up. Let's have a look, see how lucky we are today. What's oh, moving? Is it moving or is it going to snap off? If this comes out, this will be the first one ever. Oh my lord. I can't believe it. It's the first one ever that's ever come out. Now, there might be a question of the threads is cooked on it and. Um, 
I might have to re-tap it. But now what we can do is we can now get our flap in place. Let me find my bar. What did I do with my bar? There it is. My bar, my springs. I'll figure this out now. Bar goes in to there and we want a long dog tail, which could be that one there. Which rests across that. That goes against the machine. So this side here, the longest leg goes down here like so, and then this bit here goes against the machine. So put it into place, pull the spring out. Without jabbing itself in the fingers. There it goes, there's one. Oh, it's come out of place. They are pickle. There's one, let's get the other side in first. there people we're nearly there they are they are a pickle to do without a doubt it's got to go underneath that bar we've got underneath that bolt like that and then this one got to curl up oh, and sit in there like that and that's now in place I believe we can now get my bolt Gently do that up. Whilst I'm holding that down, I don't want to pop back up. Now don't over tighten this. You over tighten it, it's going to snap on you. Just hand tight. There. And now, So that's good. So now when you fit the grass box, you get no grass come out of there. So that's done. Grass flap, height adjustment done. This machine is now ready. However, um, that'd be a part two video um, because I think there's a bit more work going to it. I've already done 15, 20 minutes already. So I'm trying to get my videos nice and short if I can. So super, super happy. Okay, Hater Harrier 41 height adjustment bar and how to fit a grass flap onto the back of a machine, done. Takes about 15, 20 minutes to get that little project up and running. I've got to come back to the machine, so I have noticed that some of the governor springs are missing is, and, and all that sort of good stuff. So it's going to want more work anyway. I don't want to drag these videos out to 45 minutes long if I can help it. A couple of 20 minute videos and uh, it should make even better viewing for you guys. So that's how you do that. As I say, the bar was uh, 11 pound, uh, sorry, eight pound, the number about 11, and the flap I got um, second hand off of eBay for about a tenner. So it um, cost me 18 quid total so far, so I'm pretty happy with that. If this is the first time I'm watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon, but until people don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.